Two sport athletes are becoming rare in college due to the demands of playing a single sport while keeping up with studies. Grand Valley has a few two sport athletes who are succeeding on the field and in the classroom. Tom Cleary reports for us. It's not actually the case, but people who view Grand Valley Athletics this year may think the two in Division II stands for the number of sports athletes are allowed to play. This year, there's a sizable number of two-sport athletes who are filling up their college experience with activity many would find exhausting. A prominent example is soccer star Kristen Eibel, who won two national championships in Allendale before joining the basketball squad midway through this year. Um, it, it's definitely, you know, been a challenge, but it's also something that's been extremely fun and to have the opportunity to do that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a long year and academically, you know, going two full semesters, you know, staying on top of it and whatnot, but um, I wouldn't have it any other way right now. In some ways, Eibel represents what coaches and administrators would like to see more. In addition to being a Dean's List student, she's a perfect example of how a committed student doesn't have to be limited to one sport in college. I think it's possible in Division II to do it and do it successfully. But again, it starts with making sure that the student athletes uh, are being successful in the classroom. And uh, once they do that, I, I think it's encouraged at uh, Grand Valley. Funny, because with, with her, we actually had a conversation when she made that transition to play basketball. And she was a little bit nervous because she was going into her student teaching. And so she was in a situation where she was taking care of everything. So it was a little bit easier for her because, like we said, she's 4.0 student. So it was easier for her. She was more on top of it. But we have some other students who, they're on top of it as well, but they're not thinking of those other things that may come up. Eibel's basketball teammates Brittany and Brianna Taylor are joining the softball team this spring. They've waited until their sophomore seasons to add a second sport and say similar academic schedules and the experience of completing three college semesters in the classroom will help them juggle their added duties. Um, I think last year as a freshman just playing one sport really helped me because I learned like that academics are challenging and um, I know what it takes to be academically successful here and now I'm ready to um, pursue softball as well as basketball. So. We're in a lot of the same classes now and it's a lot easier than I mean going out and getting a tutor so we just work on our homework together and prepare for tests together because I mean we're on the same schedule pretty much. Still I still need to learn how to um, schedule my time and want to study for this and want to study for that and not wait to the last minute where I need to bring stuff on basketball trips with me or things like that. A lot of organizing. A lot of planning, I mean, you, in a sense, you got to give up some things, like you can't go out as much, you can't, you know, do a lot of the things that the, I guess, normal college students do, but, I mean, it's still fun, so it's worth it. Football player Javon Augustus is a junior college transfer who was drafted into the basketball team this year midway through the season. In order for that to happen, basketball's Rick Wesley and football's Matt Mitchell collaborated to provide some help for a hoops team that was beset with injuries throughout its campaign. Uh, you know, our coaches uh, will uh, work together uh, tremendously, both in recruiting and while the student athletes are here. I think that's a big part of it. Uh, oftentimes in Division I, uh, coaches get protective of their student athletes, whereas in Division II, uh, we kind of consider ourselves here at Grand Valley one big family and, and uh, the team needs help. For example, our basketball team this year with injuries needed some help and uh, Coach Wesley and Coach Mitchell worked together to provide some football players to help uh, uh, give them some depth. So uh, it starts with uh, coaches' cooperation and then uh, 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 the, the student athletes certainly have to be doing the job academically and then you have to be a pretty good athlete to be able to play two sports. Uh, there's no question about that. These are talented athletes. While a multi-sport career works fine for some, Dr. Damon Arnold says each athlete is closely monitored. A case in point was football standout Cameron Bradfield, whose love of basketball prompted him to consider trying another sport. Yes, we had that conversation with Cam Bradfield because he wanted to play basketball as well. You know, he came um, out of high school playing basketball and football. And so we had that conversation and, and really the end result was, you know, you want to do not just well in your classes, but you want to have an opportunity to have choices. And he was thinking about grad school. 
you know, he knew the NFL might be out there, but he was more so thinking about grad school, which I was proud of. And I told him, I said, well, will we be able to do that playing both sports? And so he had to really just reflect and take some time to think about it. And he said, you know what? No, I want to focus on football and I'm going to focus on my academics. So we have had those conversations with some of our student athletes. But like we said, some of them are able to do it, but some of them we do have to pull back the reins and say, you know, is this in the best interest of what you're doing right now? Since most college athletes maintain a year-round workout regimen, an additional sport doesn't always add as much to a college schedule as you'd expect. In fact, staying busy might be exactly the prescription for some Lakers student athletes. We interview seniors from every program uh, every year in exit interviews. And one of the things that almost to a person they tell us that they've learned in their athletic experience is time management skills. Uh, they've learned to do that with the demands of, of playing collegiate athletics, the demands in the uh, schoolwork. They have to learn to structure their time to get it done successfully. And oftentimes they will tell us they're better at that while they're in season because their time is more structured and they do a better job academically in season than they do out of season. So al along those same lines, I think it is easier for a lot of student athletes to be involved in a sport uh, uh, all year round because they are a little bit more disciplined and structured in their time management. And uh, it's one of the skills that uh, we strongly believe they learn in their collegiate athletic experience. Even though Kristen Eibel has exhausted her soccer eligibility, she could return next season to the Laker basketball team. But her classroom success means she might also choose to move on to begin her career in education. If she does, prospective employers won't have to worry about her ability to balance a busy teaching and coaching schedule. The Grand Valley experience has already proven that. For the Grand Valley State Sports Report, I'm Tom Cleary.